Hi, today we are going to be talking about line. And in line, line can be many things. It can be a contour line, a gesture line, a continuous line. Today we're going to focus more on contour and we're going to talk about how to do a design out of line in a very creative way. We're first going to make a radial design and this is the starting and the beginning of the project. And the first thing that you're going to do for your line to the design project is you're going to take like a round stencil. Here I use a paper plate. And what I did is I took a pencil and I traced around it. Okay, so that creates our circle. Now we are going to be cutting these circles out. But for right now, we're going to leave it as is. So the first step that we want to do is we want to come up with the design that we want to do. So what I would suggest for this project, you can draw an animal, maybe a bird, maybe it'll be something out of the ocean. Maybe you'd prefer to do a continuous line face drawing. There's many things that you can do. So first thing that you're going to do is come up with an idea. Right here I have a turtle and we're going to use a turtle. It's a pretty simple animal and so I thought it would be easy to understand what we're going to do for a continuous repetitive line design. And the first thing that you want to do is take the placement of whatever you choose to do, place it somewhere in the circle. Now I would suggest making it at least this large, it should be about two and a half inches to three inches. You don't want to go any smaller than that because you don't want it to lose any type of value within the drawing. So let's make it at least two to two and a half inches. If you want to make it a little bit of more three to four inches, that's fine. That'll work perfect. And today what you're going to do is draw that particular uh, subject matter within your circle. Now, we'll begin line drawing by going ahead and repeating line. And the first thing that I'm going to do with a pencil, or char charcoal line rather, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to begin by doing some wavy lines like the ocean. Okay? And I thought that that would be good. Especially if he's, this turtle might be coming on the shore. He might be doing all of those things. And he might be leaving a trail. And we're going to use line to express that. <clears throat> Maybe this would be one that he would be coming upon the ocean, the ocean shore here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat line by going parallel with the other line. Now, they vary in the thickness, and that's okay. But try to make them pretty even if you possibly can. As you can see, I'm trying to follow straight along with living, leaving a space between each line. And I will continue that. Now, right here, I have to come up with an idea right by my turtle. What am I going to do for that design? And the first thing that I'm going to do is try to figure out where is that line going to go? Now, I will complete this and I will continue this line right here. So let me go ahead and do that. And as I think about ideas, I have to think about how am I going to do a line design That'll make it interesting for the viewer. But let me go ahead and finish up here. And I will do this rather as quickly as I possibly can while I'm thinking. Right now, I'm using a charcoal pencil. And this is a charcoal hard pencil. So it's a very hard, dark black. You will be using an ink, an ink fine line marker. And that way, you cannot make mistakes, okay? So make sure that you, if you feel more comfortable drawing it out with pencil first, you may do so. Now you see right here, it's a little bit thicker. That's okay. Gives it an interesting design. And so I'll continue to do this and go along that pathway. What I'm re what I am doing is repeating line over and over and over to get a sense of motion. It's kind of the waves. There's always when you repeat line, you get a sense of a pattern. 
you get a sense of emotion. And that's what lines can convey. And that's what we want to talk about. And this is repetition because you're repeating it over and over again. Now, can I change the direction of this line? I certainly can if I would like to. However, I want to tell a story about the turtle on a visual level. How can I do that? How can I tell a story about this turtle? What can I say? What would you think? What would you do? Would he be coming up on the sand, leaving a trail? Or would he be swimming within the ocean? Well, to be honest with you, he looks like a landlubber to me. And you know why? He doesn't have those fins. Just kind of has a little bit of those little feet underneath him. I don't know. Not an expert at turtles, but I will tell you, they are cute. So let's go ahead and we'll finish this line up. And we'll begin with the design with the turtle. Notice what I'm doing. As I'm encroaching the space here, my lines get shorter and shorter and shorter as they fill the space. And this is the negative space. The turtle would be the positive space. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to have this wave come over him like that. And I'm going to fill in this space with as much line design. But as I come through, I'm going to repeat it closer and stop. Okay? I'm going to have it come down here. And come over, go around him, and have it stop. <clears throat> As if he's going to leave a trail. That means that I have to continue my continuous line through here for the negative space. Okay? And I will do that. Notice how it's filling up pretty quickly. As I'm going through here, he fills up most of the space with this type of repetitive line. And I might want to put some extra line in here too. Kind of give it a little bit more detail as we get closer to the turtle. Okay? So while we're doing this, we want to create a motion. Okay? Not emotion, but motion, okay? I know there's a lot of emotion that could be said for a lot of designs. This is not one of them. Okay. I will fill in this space fairly quickly. Okay. Now... As I come in, I'm going to work on this space just a little bit more. And I'm going to make this line go right on top of him like that. I'm going back and forth with my line. Okay, it's going to be a little bit darker around where he's at and I'm going to fill that in. Now you'll need your thinking cap of skills of how you're going to do this. But I think it's rather interesting to sit back, look, think, and come up with a design before you just start drawing it out. What I'm doing is I'm going to allow contrast. Contrast is the difference between light and dark. And I'm going to allow that to be 
a little bit of a focal point for this design. And I want you to try that too. I want you to go from dark to light and give it that contrast. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's where you learn. But do try to come up with some ideas, even if they fail. You could be, some of my mistakes ended up being some of the best masterpieces I've ever had. So basically free yourself and allow yourself to be creative. If it doesn't come out the way you thought it would, that's okay, as long as you've learned something from it. Sometimes we just have to do that. Now, I have created a darkness around him. This is going to be a pathway. Normally, I don't outline things like this. But I think there's a great emphasis and contrast when you do. Okay? Now, there's a continuing line of front right here, and that's done for a reason. But this entire space shape, in fact, I'll take a marker. It might be a little faster than charcoal. Will be black. So we're going to blacken this up. This does go much faster. And that's what you'll be using. You'll be using marker. Works much faster than charcoal. Charcoal can have a bit of a point to it. And kind of tell a narrative about it. What is he doing? Where is he going? What kind of a trail is he leaving? Okay, and as you'll see there, I will take this, and of course these lines are much thicker. I turn to the marker. Notice I'm simplifying it. It's not complicated at all. It's just the fact that He could be in the water. He can go through a little bit of a strip of land there, going into the water. It doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is I will continue to fill this in. And I will continue to fill this in as well. And notice I show a little bit of movement within that line. That's an option you can take. You don't have to be all the same direction. But if you want them to go to the same direction, you have a reason for it, it's perfectly fine. Now I'm working rather fast here so that you get the point. I have a thing with leaving spaces open. Hint, hint. Don't leave too many big spaces open. Make sure you fill your entire circle with that particular line. Now I have examples for you to look at that are in Schoology. Those examples show many different creatures and birds and faces, some wonderful examples of what can be done. One person drew a face in the center, a simple little face of the nose and went around and around and around and around and around and around for a spiral. Very cool design, you know. So you can use thick lines, thin lines, jaggedy lines, smooth lines, contour lines, continuous lines. These are all part of the line family. And what I will do is I'll continue this throughout. Now I might make this line come like this instead and finish it off like this with the edge. Kind of give it a contrast of the type of line which means contrast means different. And you can do that too. But make sure you continuously work on that line. Okay? So now I want you to take your time, come up with a design. It could be a creature, an animal, a face. Take a look at the examples. 
kind of get inspired by some of them. Now this I used a marker, this I used charcoal. You can kind of tell the difference. And that is, that concludes this lesson.